What's up everyone and welcome back to another Skate 3 video and today we're going to be checking out the Sanatorium. I have played here in the past but I don't think I've actually done a video on it other than you know the video I did with Night Speeds where we played a game of Skate here. So we're just going to be doing some exploring around and see what there is to do here. See if there's any like crazy stuff I can do. But I think for a warm up I'll start right here where I played the game of Skate with Night Speeds and we go into a grind. So let's try this again. Maybe do a nolly hard flip down it. Very cool. Nice, nice little warm up spot, I guess. So I think what I want to try next is do this double set with, you know, no props or anything like that. I just want to clear the double set. We'll have a running start and then I guess I'll try a laser flip down it as a test trick. And then if we can get a laser flip down it, we will try something else. So we'll set our marker about right here. Now let's try this out. Let's pop a laser flip. We didn't get it. We didn't even get close for that. And I don't want to do a melon either to get across it. I could probably do it with the melon, honestly. But I don't want to do that. Almost got it. We clipped right there at the end. And we got it. That looked pretty nice, actually. It looks like I got some really good pop on that. So I got a request from somebody to do a true switch tray flip down my next gap, but I've already done some challenges since then, but I think I can give them a switch tray down this, a true switch tray. Now I'm not going to lie, this stair set is actually pretty difficult already to land something down. I had to do my laser flip like a couple tries before I could land it so I can just imagine how long this is going to take for me to get this switch tray flip down it. That was a cool switch shove, but why couldn't it just been a tray flip? That was really cool though. Okay, got a switch 360 shove down there. When will my tray flip happen? When will it happen? Every time I tray flip, it doesn't go out there, but if I do a shove or something, it'll go out there. Look at that. Just like I said, if I do a shove, it'll go out there. And finally, yes. All right, so that was pretty cool. Now I think I want to move over to this next stair set over here. This is a popular stair set at the sanatorium, or at least a popular double set at the sanatorium. And this is it right here. I think it's like, what, exactly the same size as the one that we just did. But I have seen some people talk about this in the past, want to do this on hardcore. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to land it on hardcore without any props or grabs or anything like that, just flat to flat. And once again, I'll be trying to do a laser flip as a test trick just to make sure that we can get it before we try to do anything else. And I believe that is it. Very cool. Oh yeah, by the way guys, hardcore. So next, I think I want to try something fakey on it. I'm thinking maybe a fakey big spin. Yeah, let's do a fakey big spin down there. I think that would look pretty cool, actually. Look at that pop I'm getting off that big spin, though. Ah, uh, I clipped that last stair. That was going to look really cool. I don't want to clip that last stair. I just want to make it from flat to flat, boy. Oh, just barely landed that. That wasn't very smooth at all. Let's go back and redo it. Okay, I think I'll take that. That wasn't, you know, as smooth as I could get it, but I think that looks good enough. So next, there is a broken stair set over here that I want to do. I think I did it on skate one. But it's time to do it on skate three and this is the stair set the problem with this stair set is you have to curve into it pretty sharp and then you have to pop and try to land to flat and that's what i'm going to try to do now the hardest thing about this stair set is right here at this crack you see how he like comes up with his board right there at the crack like he hits it it's sort of hard to make it over that smoothly and then try to pop out over so this is probably going to take me a couple tries just because like 
of all the little things that you have to deal with. But I want to get maybe just a back heel over it. Just a backside heel flip. Oh, wow. Just barely. I think I'll take that. Even though it was a double flip, I'll definitely take that. So next I want to try to do a 540 over it. You know, just a regular ollie with a 540 if I can even get in there. All right, we got a 540 over it with the hill flip once again. That's pretty cool, I guess. I'll take it. So there is another thing up here that I haven't done in quite some time. I do have it on my old replays, but I don't think I've ever done it for a video. So we're going to try it again today. So I just want to clear this thing. Just whatever, whatever you call this thing. I want to clear over it, but the problem is I need some speed, which means I'm probably going to have to set up a quarter pipe or something, drop into it, get some speed, and then I'm probably going to have to melon over this just so I can clear it, and I want to clear it all the way to flat. Now, this is a little bit harder than what it looks, but hopefully I can do it for the video. So let's put our quarter pipe right here. Let's just move those picnic tables back with the quarter pipe. I think this is probably a good spot for it. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Set our marker right here. Let's try to ride up the quarter pipe. Try to get some speed off of it. Not like that. All right, we got some good air on that. Hopefully, that will give us the speed that we need. We could have cleared that if not for that stupid ledge. And I clipped it. Man, come on, just a little bit farther, dude. Just a little bit farther. That's all I need to do. You know, that could have been it, but I did land in that little transition, so let's try that again. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not what I wanted. That was really crazy looking. So let's try that again. <laughs> because I don't, I don't think I want to count that. Because it looked like it glitched out there for a second. Okay, yeah, I think I'll go with that one. That one actually looked pretty cool. So before I end the video, I actually want to get on top of one of these roofs and see what's at the very top, see if there's any gaps or anything I can do from the top to the bottom, just anything I can work with up there. So uh, let's try to find a way up there. So let's stack these up from here. Hopefully they don't fall over. They probably will. Ah, oh, man. We're almost there. Maybe if I step on this thing in place. Ah, uh, okay, that's gonna work. Awesome. Now let's just make it up to the top. And we made it to the top, and here we are, finally. Now we can explore after I delete all these manual pads. Wonder if we could gap from here all the way down there. That'd be pretty cool, but I don't think it's gonna let us. Let's try it out. It's a pretty big gap. You're really gonna have to I don't know. You're really going to have to get some speed for it. Maybe if we can make it past the tree, we'll be able to do it. Let's try this out. Let's come at it from an angle. Wow, we're not going to make it past that tree. Maybe if we come off of this and try to gap into it. Maybe. We're, we're still going to need some extra speed for that, though. We're going to get that speed from somewhere. And I'm not sure where we're going to get it from. Oh, wow. Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? Ah! Oh! <laughs> I didn't think we were going to make that. That's pretty sweet. Well, that's pretty cool. So at least we found, you know, a gap from up here. A pretty big gap at that. I think I got lucky right there. I was not expecting to land that. Let's move on though. I want to see what else is up here. So there's a pretty cool gap. I would like to get that from up here down there. That little, I don't know what you call it, but it's pretty much just a roof to roof gap. And we can also do that one, but that one's a lot smaller. So let's try to do this one using the same way that we just got that last one. Let's just try a heel flip on it. Let's try that. Ah, uh, I got to aim. I got to aim better. 
And I got to pop better too. Man, I got to do a lot of things better. Well, we got a triple heel flip. Let's try to do a quad heel flip. We didn't land it. We landed right there on the side. And we got the quad heel flip. Very nice. So that's actually a pretty cool gap. It's a lot easier than what I thought it would be, but it's also a little bit harder than what I thought it would be too. It seems like it's farther away than what it looks actually. It's like you're floating in the sky there for a second because of course you're floating in the sky for a second. So I think I will return this spot in the future because there are a couple more things that I've seen that I want to do that I haven't been able to do yet. So we'll try those out in a future video. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that bell so you actually get notified when I upload. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.